Hi folks, I'm Sanjana from Sales Handy, and in this video, I will be showing you how you can set up your custom tracking domain in the Sales Handy app. So first things first, what is a custom tracking domain and how does it impact email delivery bills? Without a custom tracking domain, you risk compromising your sender reputation. If you're not using a custom tracking domain, then it probably means you're using a default tracking system, provided you're using the cold emailing tool. When you use a default domain tracking, you're sharing your sender reputation with others. So this means that if their users are not positively interacting with their emails, your deliverability will also suffer. Also, adding trackable links in your email content can trigger the spam filter and delegate your emails to the spam folder. This compromises your overall email deliverability. So a custom tracking domain is used to track engagement metrics. When you're sending out cold emails, you want to know how many people have opened, clicked, and replied to your email. By having access to these metrics, you're able to determine the effectiveness of your email campaign. With a custom tracking domain, everything is in your control. You're able to determine your own sender reputation, your own deliverability. No third-party application has control. So how do you set up your own custom tracking domain in Sales Handy? Here's how. So the very first thing you want to do is you want to log on to your Sales Handy account as per usual. Then you want to go ahead and click on Settings. Then you want to click on Custom Tracking Domain. And then click on Add Custom Domain. So from here, you can select the email account you want to add the custom tracking domain for. And you need to add your email account into Sales Handy separately for it to appear on this list. And the next thing you want to do is you want to add your custom tracking domain name over here. And as you can see, your C name will automatically appear once you have added in the custom tracking domain name. So the C name is extremely, extremely important for your custom tracking domain. And by now you're probably wondering, where can I get all this information from? So in order to create your C name, you will have to go to your domain's DNS manager and configure all the settings from there. I will be linking a guide down below in the description box that explains how you can do this for each hosting. So once you have keyed in all this information, what you can do is you can just click on verify and save. And it will say custom domain created successfully. And that's it, you're good to go. Your custom tracking domain has been enabled for that particular email address. Follow the same steps to add a custom tracking domain for any of your other email accounts. See you next time.